farm and our farm community is at its best when we are testing the capabilities of the farm to be an important social space, a place for exchange and a place for passing on knowledge. There's no better place to talk about the positive changes that we want to implement than here on the farm, especially if we're talking about complex challenges in food systems, we're talking about agroecology, soil health, and nutrition. Something that I thought was super impactful from today's visit at the farm was how a war many years ago and the creation of bombs and chemicals led to industrial farming with these same chemicals and how that changed organic farming and how it's important to go back to organic farming because that will impact our everyday lives. And it's interesting to see how something historical like that can affect our daily lives today. I think the most impactful part of this site visit for me was probably Logan's story, like as a person. And also how he was very intentional with avoiding like extractive research. And he just came here and came to farms and actually got his hands dirty. And through that, learned more than he could have in school and actually was able to make more of a difference just by following his passion. It was a wonderful experience touring the farm today. We got to see so much of how organic agriculture can work. It makes me reevaluate how I view social goals when it comes to enterprises. I assumed that when it comes to a cause like organic agriculture, it would be something that would be reliant on philanthropy or something that wouldn't be profitable. But the way they do things here, the kind of goal, the vision that they wanted to establish um, was all to show that organic agriculture can be done and pursued without relying on any kind of charity and that this system can be replicated across the globe. and it's absolutely viable to pursue. And that was a really valuable experience for me and really something that I'm glad I got to learn today. Those of us who work here on the farm, we are enduring this work each day happily, but we're starting to think about the future and that we know across Europe and in North America, we face the problem of ever increasing age of the average farmer. And we're really looking forward to help and support from new generations of farmers. So we work really hard to show them that farming can be a dynamic and fulfilling lifestyle and that life in the countryside is also pretty rich and interesting. And we hope that some of these examples carry on with the young persons who visit us today.